Okay, so I know that I missed the crew battles, um, and I apologize for that, Fabio and Lance and Jeffrey and Jenny, but I am here now for the solo tournament, so that's something. <laughs> okay, I'm coming now. See you guys. Okay, so this vlog is going to be a little different than usual. I just want to take this time to talk about a little game that I love, Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. is a fighting game filled with all my favorite characters growing up. It had Mario, Link, Fox, Kirby, and even Pokemon like Pikachu. And I've been playing this game ever since the first one came out, Super Smash Bros. 64. I was just a little kid playing over and over with my brother, trying to see who would be the best. And that followed me all the way to college, where I met a group of friends who liked the same thing that I did. We even settled stupid arguments with Smash. We fight about who has to take out the trash, who gets to use a TV. Okay, so a little background about this right now. Me and Alex want to do our usual Oscar watching month, but Jeff wants to play Xbox. But then Alex challenged him to a match of Smash. Yo, yeah. watch him get out. <laughs> he is so determined. Oh my god, all right, the other way. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Things just. Oh! We even went as far as to have rankings, and who was ever at top would get to call all the shots in the friend group. But that quickly went away when we realized that there was a huge skill level gap between all of us. But after a lot of convincing, Squadron finally went to the Smash tournament. And the first event we had to go through was crew battles. So if you don't know, crew battles are set up into two teams, one being Rutgers, my friends, and the other being NGIT. Usually it's teams of five. We pick one person to go first, and they would compete with three stocks each. And after their match, the opposing team chooses the next person to go in. But here's the catch. The winner that stays on was only allowed to have the amount of stocks that they kept from the last match. So what we did was we chose our lineup. And this was our lineup. We got Jeff, my girl Jenny, Fabio, and this kid named Henry, and me. Up against NJIT's finest. The first one that NJIT sent out was this Diddy Kong player named Wob. We never really heard of this guy from NJIT, but we were sitting there thinking, yo, we really have a chance at this. But we were so wrong. Wob demolishes Jeff, and not only that, he went out to go take out Jenny, and even Fabio. We're on our fourth person already, out of five, and we haven't even seen their second player yet. Luckily though, our boy Henry takes down Wob, but by the time I already had to go up, it was too late. We were too far behind to come back. See what he's just spacing out, he's waiting for a hard punish, taunts in neutral, he's got the top back, and the get up! And that's, and that's it! That's it! Woody, the clutch up smash. And NJIT takes it, yeah! And I could say I was really disappointed. I, I thought we could have done a lot better. And we made Rutgers look bad. Sorry guys. So that's why when it came down to smash singles, I really wanted to prove myself. And boy did Squadron come in hot. We were winning games left and right. Even Jenny did really good. And I'm really proud of her for that. As I moved up on winners, I found myself pressing the same guy that demolished my team. Wobs Diddy Kong. <laughs>
<laughs> After winning against Rob, I tried checking up on my other friends on bracket, but I saw that they were getting eliminated. I win my first losers match and I'm already one more game away to top 12 again, clawing my way back. But someone else, someone else was crawling through losers, making his way to losers semifinals. It was none other than Fabio himself. This man was on a mission. And a little backstory, this man has been trying to get me to do a tournament for a long time. And we were set to play on stream in losers semifinals. Lance I am so Bobby. proud of Lance. He went to semifinals. Semifinals, lost to his mentor. I know, right? Bobby You'll get him is, next time. Fabio's Fabio on his way right now. He, maybe he's going to get there. Maybe maybe not. Well, but Fabio we'll looked like he was kicking ass. You know, he was getting his ass beat the first time. But and then he, he was just like, he, he came it. back. He clapped back. And so did Lance. So now they're oh, each other in the finals. Finals. Losers, the Losers the the finals. Losers finals. Finesse is lighting up the crowd. So, so dripping in finesse. Finesse definitely is the fan favorite now. He definitely is the fan favorite after all that. Would, would I be lying if I said I won? If I'm, if I'm uh, probably on bias here and I want him to win? Hey, hey, commentators can't be biased. As far as they're aware. So we're getting a uh, stage bang up away real quick. All right, so we're having a stage bang. And we don't put the Pokemon Stadium. Just like that, the same man who told me to come to this tournament. Same man who's at the bottom of our squadron rankings. This wasn't my tournament to shine. This is Fabio's. And yeah, I'm a little sad that I lost. And low key, I think some of my friends were too. But it's nice to see him win. But this wasn't my tournament to shine in. And that's okay. This isn't gonna be my last tournament.
Tina, we got smashed. Okay, Tina, no. I knew it. We guessed it. We guessed it too.